Nvidia's latest driver 535.98 has just dropped. Now, if you play Warzone, Apex Legends, Fortnite, Valorant, or PUBG, should you upgrade to this latest driver? And this is what we're here to find out. To test this out, we're going to be using our RTX 3070 and 8 gigabyte CAD to see if there are any issues. And we're going to compare this with this previous driver, the 532.03. All specs are in the description. Okay, let's go. Let's start with Warzone synthetic benchmark at 1080p. And we can see right here, we have lesser VRAM usage and RAM is also slightly lower on our new latest driver. GPU usage is maxed out on both. CPU usage is roughly the same as well. I mean, temperatures are more or less the same here. I mean, performance is really close. I would probably call that this is sort of like the same. Maybe, yeah, maybe margin of error on this one. So yeah, pretty close, pretty close. All right, let's go with 1440p with DLSS quality turned on. And right off the bat, we can see that I think it uses lesser VRAM at the start here. And RAM is way lower. In here compared to the previous driver i mean performance is roughly well same lower in the latest driver interestingly like vram is caught up in this part of the benchmark like yeah we've got like a slightly higher themes on the previous driver and yeah right yeah performance is a bit lower but in here as you can see in here on heavy scenes performance seems to swing back to the latest driver so it's a bit of a mixed bag here could be like margin of error now let's test out reflex now we know that anti-lag is a huge effect on amd cards what about reflex for nvidia cards and we can see right here that we've got terrible time frame times on both drivers i mean performance seems a bit worse as lesser ram usage starts out uh, yeah all right, let's go with Reflex Plus Boost, and we can see frame times are still bad. Uh, it still uses more VRAM. RAM usage is more or less the same. It looks like performance may be a bit worse on the latest driver. And yeah, GPU power seems to be ramming up. Yeah, all right, let's have a look with Reflex Turn Off, and we can still see that frame times are still bad here. Yeah, it's really bad. It still uses less RAM and less VRAM. Performance is so like similar, maybe worse for the latest driver. And yeah, VRAM seems to wrap up with the latest part. All right, let's look at all three in here. Yep, all three on the latest driver. So reflex off, reflex on, reflex plus boost on. And you can see frame times are still the same. Maybe I think the best one in here is the reflex plus boost turn on. So let's have a look at this one. You can compare it to AMD 6600 XT, also an 8 gigabyte card. And you can see right off the bat here boys that at 3070 is much worse look at the frame times it's just bad and we've got anti-lag turn on here with um the amd card and one percent and 0.1 percent lows are definitely better on the amd card for warzone 2 so yeah let's go to apex legends and as always we've got competitive settings here reflex has been turned on on this one and yep yeah, VRAM usage seems low. Uh, RAM usage slightly lower as well. Performance seems similar. Uh, maybe better on the older driver, but in here, yeah, it seems, I think the latest driver seems to be work better on heavy action scenes and on still shots. Yeah, you can see that, um, yeah, it has better um, performance compared to the previous driver. So RAM remains to be slightly lower, VRAM slightly lower as well. So definitely use the latest driver if you're playing Apex Legends. Let's go with Fortnite and we're trialing out all APIs in here, DX12, DX11 and performance mode. Let's start off with DX12. We've got reflex turned on in here as well. So yeah, all right. So you can see that VRAM's more or less the same here. RAM usage seems a bit higher, the latest driver. Uh, performance a bit mixed here i think it's probably worse on the average fps yeah definitely much worse than the average fps and even the one percent lows in here is much worse gpu usage is the same cpu usage is the same but yeah definitely much worse experience with the uh, with the latest driver if you're playing on dx12 so yeah let's go out and see how this one performs with dx11 all right so definitely it's just the same here for dx12 much worse so use the older driver if you're looking all right let's go dx11 and we can see in here 
it uses more RAM and definitely uses more VRAM too. Yeah, definitely more VRAM. Yep, and, and likewise, performance seems to be much worse. Yeah, look at those 1% lows, boys. A big difference there, and even the average FPS, yeah. And GPU usage is more or less the same. CPU usage is probably more on the latest driver. Yeah, look at that, 5% difference, 6% difference here. And do note that we've run this multiple times and we still get the same result. So obviously the, the previous driver is much better. And if you're interested in more of these videos, driver testing boys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any driver updates and if you should upgrade to any latest driver. All right, let's go back to the video. All right, let's try performance mode. And in here, performance mode, let's have a look. And you can see right here, have uh, uses more VRAM and uses more uh, system memory as well, like about like 300, 300 megabytes difference. Uh, performance is a bit mixed here. I think it has worse performance too. Look at that one. 1% 1 lows are lower, 0.1% lows, uh, slightly more or less, yeah. Uh, GPU usage is more or less the same. CPU usage is the same too. I think it's probably not worth to upgrade to the latest drivers if you're a Fortnite player. So just stick with 523.0, no, 532.03 drivers, right? Okay, let's move on to Valorant. So competitive settings here, 1080p. Right, let's see this. Let's see how this one goes. Hmm. Okay, well, looks like we've got VRAM is slightly more, which is pretty much negligible, and RAM usage is more too. It uses more system RAM. I think performance seems to be better on this one. Like, check out the difference between the two in here. It has better average APS and 1% lows. All right, let's look at heavy action scenes on this one. All right. So yeah, VRAM is still slightly higher and RAM usage is slightly higher too. I think it has better overall performance, but the 0.1% low seems a bit twitchy with this one. Like look at that one. But overall, it's still good. You probably won't notice a difference in this one, boys. So let's go with PUBG, competitive settings. Uh, DX11 enhance. Yep, got DX11 enhance here. Right, let's go. And the first thing you've noticed in here is the 0.1% lows on our latest drivers is terrible. Now this is very common because we've got multiple frame time spikes here. And we've tested this multiple times and we still get the same result. Now there are still frame time spikes on the other one, on the previous driver, but it's not as bad as this one. Alright, so it uses more VRAM on our latest driver and uses way more system memory. Like look at that one boys, like 1.3 gigabytes of difference. CPU usage is also higher. GPU usage is also higher on the latest driver, but overall performance is much worse. So I think we'll probably stick with the 532.03 drivers. Now this test actually made us curious on our next video. We might compare the 3070 with the 6700 XT and see how these two will compare with our competitive game. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them out in the comment section and we'll see you guys on the next video.